Hello! So today I'm going to show you how to make use of... If I go open, I'm going to open this file here. So if I go onto rendered view, you can see that we have a number of issues with this render. Some of you probably already know this top. I'm going to make all of these invisible. We don't need these. I'm going to make this invisible too. I'm even going to make the head invisible and this invisible. And we're going to focus just on this piece because it's easiest just to focus on one at a time. So if I click on this and I click on materials, you can see it has two different materials. So I'm going to focus first on the wings. I'm going to add in a light source because it's currently very dark in this mode. So I'm going to go light, sun, and I'm going to add the sun. I'm just going to point it roughly there. Okay, so I'm going to be staying in rendered mode for the most of the time here because I need to be able to see if what we're doing is working. First of all, it's slightly transparent because of the alpha, so I'm just going to click this one and delete it. Next up, I'm going to drag this over here just to make some space and I'm going to add in a mix shader. Mix shader, add that in there. Next up, I'm going to add in a geometry node. Geometry, and add that above. And I'm going to link the back facing up to the factor. Then I'll make it black. Then I'm going to make another principal shader. I'm going to duplicate it and link this one up to here, which will make it white. Next up, I'm going to bring the alpha down to zero. But that doesn't seem to work. So if I bring the alpha up, bring the transmission up. Also doesn't work, so I'm going to bring the alpha back down again. Click on this one over here, Object Properties. Scroll down, and under Ray Visibility, I'm going to click Shadows. And there we have the effect that we want, with the outlines. Still need the sword though, so we're going to hop over, back onto the sword. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We can see again that we have transparency issues, so I'm going to click on this one, which is plugged into the alpha. Press X to delete it. Drag that out the way. Add a mix shader, drop it on the line, add a geometry node, drag it onto the line, and then I'm going to duplicate the principal shader, plug that in, and drop the alpha to zero. And there we have it, the properly outlined character. Bring the character back. Now let's select the hat. And if I go into here and turn on face orientation, you can see that the hat and the head also has the faces facing the outright, so it means it wants the same thing. Drop this out of the way. Add in a mix shader. Add in a geometry node. Back facing to factor. To get the principal shader. Connect it up and drop the alpha. Okay, we've got the same issue, so I need to go down onto the uh, render properties, object properties, gray visibility, shadows. And now I need the hat. Exact same issue on the hat. Drag it out. Mix shader. Geometry node. Collect back facing into factor. Duplicate the Prince board, connect it to shader, drop the alpha, and turn off the shadow. And I think that is everything, which should mean we now have our fully completed character. Thank you for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening.